Hey everybody, Maction here, and uh, I'm up here in Tactus's suite with RK, who's going to tell us a little bit about um, Tactus, the company, uh, what they've been doing for the past uh, 12 months, and what they're going to be doing for the next 12 months. So, uh, RK, over to you. Tell us a little bit about Tactus, and uh, you know about how the company got started, and um, and just. Uh, all the cool things you have in store. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Andy. Uh, so Tactus, the idea originally started about uh, six years ago with our founder, uh, co-founder and CEO, Craig Chesla, right around the time when the iPhone came out and he was looking at the iPhone as Blackberry and said, you know what, it would be uh, fantastic if I could actually have the best of both. The usability of using a Blackberry keyboard uh, with the flexibility and adaptive nature of an iPhone all screen with software. And that's really what Tactus enables. We enable the best of both. Physical interfaces with buttons and other devices, uh, along with the flexibility of what we all like today, which is large touchscreens with software running behind them. And so the way we do that is we use uh, a technology called microfluidics, so everything is using fluid, and we enable it without compromising everything that we like today about touchscreens. So it's as flat, as thin, as inexpensive, and as usable. Uh, but when you need it, for example, for typing, for gaming or for other controls, these physical buttons, button arrays structures will pop up. You can use them, and when you're done, goes away into invisible flat structures. Mm -hmm. So it's a touchscreen again. And so what we are enabling today with this, we showed this uh, a year ago at CES, was uh, a keyboard uh, on, a, on a tablet or smartphone that appears on demand. And so this was very exciting because this uh, is as responsive as, as software and enables you to type just as easily as on a computer or any other physical keyboard while having all the, the uh, flexibility of a, a smart device. Now what we've done in the last 12 months since then is we've gotten a, a significant number of engagements with the brand companies that make these devices. So you'll see those devices start rolling out uh, later part of this year. And that's quite exciting for us across tablets and smartphones and devices in that category because you're going to start seeing the first, you know, real usable keyboards in devices very soon. Now, most of these devices need to be uh, made specially by the uh, by the manufacturer using your technology, so they decide what implementation uh, they have. But um, you've also got another example of how versatile your technology can be right here. That's right. So uh, we've been working with the brand companies that make the devices, and, and we think that's, that's a really good way to integrate this technology and bring it to market. But in doing some of our other work, what we discovered is that it's also possible to uh, enable this technology to be an aftermarket accessory kind of solution. So here I have an iPad mini, or you could have an iPhone uh, just as easily, and we have this, this prototype case that we've made, which has dynamic keyboard that can come up. And that was just a manual slider, and I've enabled a physical keyboard that I can type on that is far more satisfying and far more usable than just a flat touchscreen. So this can now be bought very soon. This will be out roughly in the, uh, in the mid-2014, so mid this year time frame. And you can uh, put this on uh, you know, hundreds of millions of iPhones or iPads or those kinds of devices, and we're very excited about that. It does look fantastic, and uh, and the hope is that you can have different types of uh, fronts on there, one for perhaps keyboarding, one for maybe fooling around and playing games, hopefully, <laughs> just a little bit. And uh, and there's nothing to charge or anything on this because it's just a slider and a mechanical uh, aspect to it. That's right. Uh, what What's really interesting about this is, exactly as you said, there's uh, different there are different options. Uh, options for keyboards. So some people prefer using their thumbs or index fingers. Some people prefer swiping. And you can have different fronts or panels uh, that people can buy at the store depending on what your what your use case is. You can also, as you said, uh, buy panels that uh, are cases that actually are towards gaming. So you can have your standard A, B, X, Y controls for gaming and a majority of the games actually map to that. And so you, you, you now start to talk about very usable at the same time, very customized and personalized solutions that users can go and put on top of their, uh, you know, very uh, uh, popular devices, and 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 covers a whole host of use cases. That is fantastic. Well, we certainly look forward to being able to slap these on some of our tablets. So I sure appreciate you taking the time with us. And uh, unless if, if there's anything else uh, you want to talk about that uh, that I haven't already covered. 
I'll just have to say that, um, can, can I take this one home with me today, please? <laughs> you know, this one, uh, I think we may have to charge you a little bit extra for it, but uh, you'll, you'll see this in the market very soon, and we're very excited about it. Thank you, Andy, for your time. Well, it never hurts to ask. Appreciate it. <laughs>